first was being a part of a team in uh, Lubbock, Texas, at Texas Tech. I was on a National Institute of Drug Abuse grant that did therapy with families with sub substance abusing adolescents. And I think I learned more in those two or three years that I was involved in that grant than I did in all the previous 10 years of working with families because it was such a deliberate way of working. Uh, it wasn't a um, text, uh, it wasn't a textbook approach. So it wasn't a, um, oh, what is the term that they use now? Um, manualized approach, but it was very strict in that we were to do structural and strategic work. And most of the time when we were doing therapy with families, we had at least one, sometimes two or three people behind the one-way mirror, including a supervisor. So that was a time of hundreds and hundreds of hours of very intense learning. That same time at Texas Tech, Bradford Keeney had a group of people doing some experimenting with weight loss and weight control, which resulted in a, a book chapter uh, in a book called... Um, Oh, it's by Jill Harkaway. I would have to go back and look at it. But in that book, Michael White also wrote a chapter on weight and cybernetics. So in that uh, learning experience, we were experimenting with people who had not been able to lose weight and trying to find uh, ways of working with them that uh, were a bit uh, outside the box, as many would say, mm -hmm. playing with ideas of things that were not uh, medically uh, invasive and certainly weren't thre life-threatening because these people all uh, were losing fewer than 50 pounds uh, as their goal. So those were two great teams that I had, uh, to, I got to be a part of. And then the third team was when I was learning solution-focused therapy. Uh, I was in uh, the Dallas-Fort Worth area by then and uh, still reading Steve DeShazer's work and several people who were at a psychiatric hospital and the outpatient wing of that hospital where I was working uh, decided that we would start a team. It included uh, Tom Chancellor, who studied with Steve and Insu many times and is a part of Saul. He's now a financial planner. Uh, Tom Lee, uh, Mike Bishop, and several other people at this um, psychiatric center. And we practiced with teams one night a week for over a year. And uh, one of us would see the, t see the family and the others would be behind the mirror. And we would continue to do that for several hours of that evening. So it was a wonderful experience of learning. And I found at that time that uh, it's difficult to recreate those kinds of learning experiences. Uh, there are not that many people that will take the time now to sit behind one-way mirrors or to give up the hours that they could be charging others for therapy in order to learn. So uh, very, very powerful times of learning for me. And I think that was the best way to learn both systemic models in the early 80s and then solution-focused therapy in the late 80s was with teams.